washing machine. Like, not paper, but we're gonna make a washing machine, a toy washing machine, out of cardboard. So let's get started. First, you're going to need a cardboard box like this. So guys, here I'm using a lunchbox box. And so here it's open. If you have like a cardboard box, that's good, but this is a thin cardboard. So when you open it, it's like this. And so there's gonna be an opening here. And so to close that, I'm gonna be using some masking tape to glue that, to tape it in place. So you're gonna take the top of the box and you're just going to put half of the tape on there. Now you're just gonna press it down and tape this like that. And you want to do the same on the other two sides. So guys, I taped these three sides and now we need to make the you know washing machine thing here, the actual washing thing. And for that, you're going to take a container. So you're going to take a container like this. Um, a clear lid is better, so it looks more like a real washing machine. But of course, you guys can also use a plastic lid. But we're going to set the lid aside. And we're gonna put this on here and we're gonna trace out a circle. Using a marker, a pencil, or anything you want to trace out a circle. to cut it out you guys there's are two ways you can use a scissor or an exacto so obviously with an exacto knife you guys can just cut out the circle but if you don't have this or you don't want to use it then you can just take your scissor and you can just stab it like that after you stab it you can slowly start to cut it out and so guys if you have something like this where this can fit through now straight opposite you're going to flip it over and over here you're just going to make a small hole like that using you can stab a scissor or use an exacto knife once again and so guys the hole should be like this i'm just gonna stick a sharpie in so it makes a nice and neat tool and now you should have a And that's my hand. And guys, now what you're going to do is here in the corner, you're going to draw a small rectangular box like this. And guys, this rectangle is two and a half by four centimeters right here. And then you also want to make one small hole here and one small hole there. And you're gonna cut out these three things. So guys, I'm not gonna put glue on the whole thing. I'm just gonna put it on the outside of like this circle. Or else it's just gonna get bubbly and I don't really like how that looks. So I'm just gonna put it on the outside of these things. Of these cutouts. And that's all I'm gonna put glue. And now I'm just gonna put this here. So. This color looks very orangey on camera, but it's a really nice pinky orange. It's like a bright neon orange. See how it just got bubbly in the areas where I already put glue? Yeah, so I don't like that to happen. And now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna glue the sides. And I'm just gonna glue this down. And the same with this side. And guys, the same way you're gonna glue the back to the sides. You're putting only glue around this. So guys, I put paper on all the sides even the top and now here for a good look on the border I'm gonna add some silver washi tape all around so guys here's how it looks a nice silver lining and now it's time to open all this 
So I'm just going to cut with this. And from here, I'm just going to cut sections. And you want to cut this way in the so that I, I cut it and on pieces that are a bit too long, you can just cut them like this and then shake it out of the box. And now what you're going to do is you're gonna put some glue on each piece and you're just gonna fold it in. And you're gonna fold in all of these pieces. So guys, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing on this small rectangular box we have. Just cut out an X and fold it in the same way. And guys, you're going to take your exacto knife and you're just going to poke your hole where your hole is again. And then after you have your hole, you can just take a pencil and make it round. And guys, now you want to flip it to the back and poke a hole. And now you can take your Sharpie. You can poke that hole like this. So guys, what you're gonna do is set this aside and you're going to get a piece of paper like this. And now you're just going to start to roll it. And you want to glue the end like that. So guys, now what you're gonna do with this stick is we're going to take this stick. So one side should be thicker and one side should be thinner. You're going to take the thin side and put it through. Now on the thick side, you're gonna make like a star shape like this. You want to cut four ways. And you're gonna bend this down. Can take it out you're gonna bend it down and you're gonna put some glue and you're gonna glue it like this so guys the washing machine should look like this and if you spin this back thing this spins but you don't want to pull it back you just need to spin it you should pull it back as you can see it's moving if I put this doll's dress, for example, if I put this doll's dress, this is moving. Of course, this won't be sticking yet because we're going to be adding a cap or a lid to that. But for now, let's take this out so you can make the drawer here. So guys, now you're going to need four pieces like this. But guys, you can leave it as it is. But I'm just going to add a bit more color and so I'm going to cover them in color. So guys, what you're going to do is you're going to put glue on these sides here. And you're going to glue these pieces there like that. And now you're going to glue this piece to the front like this. So guys, now we're going to make those spinning things. And for that, I'm using silver washi tape. Like this, and then you can fold down the extra washi tape. And after you fold it down, I'm taking some gold washi tape, and I'm wrapping it around the side. So guys, now I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to draw some these things like that. So guys, now after you have this, you're going to take a piece of paper like this and you want to start to roll it. And you're just going to glue it in place. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the ends of these two. And I'm just gonna glue this here like that. So guys, now 
what you're going to do is about right here, you're just gonna fold down like this. So, you know, it doesn't come out. And now let's assemble the pieces. So we should have two of these, like this. And we have one of these. So here on top of these holes, you want to draw triangles like this. And now you can insert these. And one more. And you also have to stitch your down thing. Like this. So guys, to make the, um, you know, like the lid, you're going to use the lid of the box we used, and you're gonna take glitter foam sheet. This is optional. And now you're just gonna press the lid down hard on the foam sheet. And that should create an indent. So guys, now you're gonna trace around this. After you trace it out, you're going to cut it. So guys, it should look like a ring when it's cut out. And now you're going to glue it on top of the lid like this. And guys, now to make the door hand, you're going to need three pieces of paper like this. And you're going to roll each of them.